Hello everyone, my name is Michael Bader. I'm an associate professor at the Technical University of Munich. And it's my pleasure to contribute to this excellent Birds of a Feather session with an educational perspective on simulation software engineering for CSE. Since 2001, we're running a CSE master program at TUM. Back then, it was one of the first programs that were entirely in English and which explicitly addressed international students in particular bachelor or master graduates in science or engineering. Our program is run by seven different departments, but it's the department of informatics that has the overall lead. And that has always put a strong focus on computational and HPC topics. This HPC focus is also responsible for one of the biggest challenges in shaping our program. How do you turn engineering and science bachelors who are largely new to computing into experts in HPC and simulation software development within just two years. As this session is all about interactivity, I will not even try to answer this question, but instead confront you with three major challenges in shaping our curriculum over the last 20 years. The first challenge I've called the big leap. Students come with some limited programming experience from their bachelor, and we basically have two courses to make them familiar with modern programming languages, performance-oriented programming, and particularly teaching them how to do parallel programming. Almost none of the students have previous experience on this. So you can do some MPI and OpenMP here, but GPU programming and such is definitely beyond the scope, even though a lot of students would ask for this. The next challenge I have called the big doubt. The orange courses here used to be compulsory. Computer architecture, efficient algorithms, and especially software engineering are all super important. But we had to make them elective due to other constraints on the curriculum. Can we expect that our students do wise choices here and pick what complements their individual backgrounds best? Our third challenge I have called the big hope two big lab courses, both compulsory since our last curriculum update. It's especially these courses where we can train students in programming in small teams, using repositories, careful testing of their code, providing the code such that lecturers can reproduce their results, and at the same time involve them in small CSE typical projects. Computational fluid dynamics, wave propagation, couple problems or similar. It'd be great to have much more of these programming labs, but the curriculum demands that students also learn lots of other things about CSE. Much of this omitted in this table here. I'll be looking forward to hearing about your discussions on that. Thanks a lot to all of you for attending.